What's up, y'all? So in today's video, we're going to learn how to make dynamic cards in React using React Bootstrap. And uh, this is what it's going to look like right here. So these are all, these, all four of these are dynamically created from an array of objects. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to make this. We're going to have an image, a title, some text with it. And we'll also create this grid that will be dynamic, as you can see, if I were to go and inspect. And I were to make this smaller, you can see that it is dynamic cool and if you're wondering how we made this nav bar right here uh, with react routing and everything there should be a card that should appear at the top right of your screen anytime now and uh, yeah let's get into this all right so the first thing we're gonna do is install react bootstrap and so there's a link in the description below that will take you to the getting started page and it should look something like this right here uh, you should be taking the very top right here we have the snippet of code the npm install just go ahead and copy that and in your code editor of choice, let's go ahead and paste it inside of your terminal and let that work its magic. While that's installing, I'm going to go back into the getting started page. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see this import right here for the CSS. Let's go ahead and copy this and you can paste it inside of your index.js or your app.js file. I'm going to go ahead and paste it into my index.js file, which is right here. And I'll just save that and let that finish installing. All right, so it's done installing, and I'm going to be working inside of my moredeets.js file right here. And it should look uh, fairly similar to what yours is if you have a brand new one made. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is go back into the documentation for React Bootstrap and go into Components. And inside of Components, I'm going to click on Cards right here. And I'm just going to select a basic card, uh, one with an image. Let's go to the very top. Let's grab this one right here. It's basic. It has an image, a title button we don't really need the button so I will just give her the button when I add it to our project so I'm going to import a card from uh, react bootstrap oops react bootstrap there we go and let's just import it right inside of here and let's give it this button and let's see if it works cool so it is right there going back into my code editor and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable this is going to be containing our image title and text so I'll just do const card info is equal to an array of objects and inside of here I'll just do image set that to an empty quote uh, title let's do empty as well and let's do text and let's do empty for that as well and let's copy this and paste it four times there we go and let's add a uh, title of my favorite basketball player. So let's do LeBron. Let's go with uh, Harden. Who else? Who else? Steph Curry. I should really add like first name, last names. Let's do that. James and uh, no, not Harden. James. <laughs> James Harden. And uh, final one. Um, yeah, Michael, I hope I spelled this right, Michael Jordan, I love this guy's mentality, man, it's ridiculous. Alright, so text, the goat, don't at me, alright, in my opinion, I think he's the greatest of all time. Um, he good, he good, he is very close to goat. Let's find some images for these guys. All right, so I had to do a little bit of a switcheroo. I had to get rid of James Harden. I had to replace him with Alex Caruso because he is the true GOAT. Better than Jordan, better than LeBron, better than all of them, right? I mean, he had 500,000 All-Star votes this year, and Jordan had zero. <laughs> Ridiculous. All right. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's create a function that is going to render our cards. So I'm going to do const render card is equal to and I'm going to give it the parameter of card and index and I'll return instead of here let's go ahead and copy this information right here for our card and let's put it inside of this return statement and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a source for our image and you're going to probably already guess what it's going to be but it'll be um, card dot image and for our title, 
we will do card dot title and for our text it's going to be card dot text so card dot text cool all right i forgot to do the index so i'm just going to do a key is equal to index right inside of this card tag right here and for the final thing is we are going to be mapping over our um array of objects so that's going to be like this uh what's it called again card info so card info dot map and we're going to be render mapping over render card and so now if you look at it there we go so we got dynamic cards with players text and titles nice all right so let's put them in a grid um resize the images make it make it a little bit cleaner to look at it, not just push everything to one side so this css comes directly from another tutorial uh, the link or the annotation should appear right now if you want to go and follow that um, but i'm just going to import it right here so i'm just going to do class name at uh, box and place this with grid and now if we go back and look at it we'll see that yeah we should have probably gone with same image sizes but that doesn't look too bad it's it's all right but we can see that we have uh, the images in a grid and if we were to go inspect it they're still in their grid in their respective grid no matter how big or small i go cool but if you're wondering how we actually make this grid and everything uh, just go ahead and follow the other tutorial link in the description and the annotation cool i hope you all enjoyed this video and i hope that it helped um helped you out creating a dynamic card um so what you can do now you can like copy this and just paste it like a bunch of times and you can see like ooh, I feel like I don't know how many objects that would be we have so many now and that was all dynamic cool huh uh, so if you did enjoy this be sure to uh, like comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one